Hey guys, Maple Tail here. Today is a very special video. It's the 150 subscriber. Er, wait, 200 sub. Um, you know what? Let's just go with many subscriber special. In all seriousness, thank you guys so much for all the support and sticking with me. It's really appreciated, and I can't even believe we've come so far. So thank you. Let's get right into it. Today we're doing a Q&A and drawing me <laughs> and Maple Tail. The first question comes to us from VS Co Fairy Vibes Doggo. Do you have any OCs other than Maple Tail? Short answer: Yes. Definitely yes. Long answer. I mean, Maple Tail herself is actually three OCs in one. The first OC I remember making, an OC where I accidentally reused the name. And now the maple tail I use is my icon. As a kid, I made tons after my friend told me about the series. This was before I even read the books. Then I made some more series and book accurate ones a while later, after reading up to Omen of the Stars. I actually have a video talking about a few of them if you want to check it out. The main ones of that era were fan kits of Cinderheart and Limeblaze, Firefern, Moonlight, Frostwing, Sunspots, and of course, Maple Tail II. If Firefern of Sky Clan wasn't a thing now, I likely would have used the name Firefern of River Clan for my channel, as she was my main character and favorite. Then I made another batch of OCs a couple years ago. I just straight up remade River Clan and started on the other clans a bit, but didn't care about them so much. The clan was led by Echo Star with Deputy Petalstream. I've actually drawn Petalstream before on this channel in my first redrawing old art video. My main OC was Minnowfur, Petalstream and Old Deputy Darkpool's daughter. And most recently, I started working on some fan clans. Shade Clan, Marsh Clan, Echo Clan, and Storm Clan. They all live around a valley, and I've been focusing on giving them different cultures and traditions. Something I wish the Warrior series had more of. These clans are led by Willowshade, Brightmarsh, Small Echo, and Shimmerstorm, respectively. I've drawn and given backstories to all the OCs I've made for these new clans over on Tumblr, if you want to know more. The second question comes from Saberstorm of ThunderClan. Who's your favorite non-clan cat of all time? Oof. That's a tricky one. The first cat that comes to mind is Storm from Dawn of the Clans. I've just always really liked her for some reason. No, you know what? It's definitely Storm. I can't really think of anyone else that stuck with me the same way. I'm a sucker for pretty grey cats with tragic deaths, apparently. Next question comes from Minko Senko. When did you start reading Warriors? And who's your favorite character right now? I started reading Warriors in the 6th grade. But I didn't get past the bit in the prologue. Where someone says, you may swim like otters. I think it was Redtail or maybe Tiger Claw. Then I didn't start properly reading them till middle school, where I read up until The Last Hope was released, and then got back to them in university with Dawn of the Clans. I haven't stopped reading them since. As for my favorite cat at the moment, I really love all our new protagonists, as well as very background character Flamepaw. But my absolute favorite has been Shadow Sight. Of course, he just had to be the one to die. Or I'm assuming he's dead, as in this recording I have not read Veil of Shadows. Fingers crossed! I've also been loving Squirrel Flight and Hawkwing, and even Dovewing and Ivypool, both whom I wasn't too fond of in Omen of the Stars. Next up is from Yu's Stupid Channel. Will you continue the Who's Possessing Bramble Star series? And how are you so underrated? <laughs> Well, as for the underrated part, I haven't been doing this very long, and you know, it's... Yeah. Um. And for the Who's Possessing Bramble Star series, I'm assuming we got our answer in Veil of Shadows. But if we haven't, then yes, absolutely, I'd like to continue it. It's one of my favorite series to do, and... So why not? Next question is from a couple of people. Da Beast and Minty Stem. Which book is your favorite? Blue Star's Prophecy is my favorite. 
Always has been. Crooked Star's Prophecy and Mothlight's Vision come close. I guess I like my special editions. As for main series books, I really like A Dangerous Path. Path of Stars and The Silent Thaw. Next question is from Flurry Howell. Or questions, rather. How did you come up with Mabletail? Who's your favorite character in Warriors? Do you like survivor dogs? I kind of talked about Mabletail earlier, but I chose the name as it was my oldest OC that I can remember. So the name holds a special place in my heart. My favorite character? It's Blue Star. I loved her as a kid and still do to this day. Just something about the image of this wise and fair leader really drew me in. And when I learned her backstory, I only fell more in love. From off the top of my head, characters I also really like are Misty Star, Willow Breeze, Pebble Heart, Moth Flight, Jay Feather, Leaf Star, and Shadow Sight. As for survivors, never read it. Seekers either. What can I say? I'm a cat person. Next up is from I Am Solar. What do you use to draw? And who's your favorite villain? I get the drawing question a lot. I use Autodesk Sketchbook. It's a free program, so if you're looking to try one, I'd recommend giving it a go. As for my favorite villain... Hmm... Is it super lame if I say Tiger Star? It's just not often we get to see a villain who grew up in Thunderclan, allowing us to see their whole lives, and how they ended up becoming evil. I just feel like he has so much depth because of this. Like he didn't just appear one day, we've seen his whole life. Also, I just love how much a threat he feels throughout the whole first series. This is probably in part due to the fact that he is directly opposing the protagonist, and not just the clans in general, like many of the villains do. I also really like Mapleshade. I guess I like my Thunder Clan villains. <laughs> Next up is from Pylon79. Who inspires you the most? How do you stay motivated? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to start with the motivation one first. It was really easy at first. I was just making the videos for myself, as a way to stay busy when the term at school ended. As I started to gain subscribers, I started to get excited and started putting in some audio and, and some extra effort for them. When I got to about 30 subscribers and stayed there for who knows how long, I did start to get discouraged. It was really hard to stay motivated, but I kept pushing kept doing what those 30 people had subscribed to me for, and well, here we are. 300 at the time I wrote the answer for this one. So I guess to stay motivated, I just make the things that I want to make. Things that make me happy. As for inspiration, I'm really inspired by many artists in the Warriors community. Really, I always have been. The artists and animators of this community are incredible at what they do, and I've largely stayed interested in the series due to their creations. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as you may know, this was supposed to be a celebration of 150, but by the time I decided what I wanted to do, we hit 200, and then I realized I wasn't going to be able to release this video until today, as I already had a bunch of time-sensitive videos queued up. So thank you guys for your patience with this one, and all your questions. I wasn't even sure if I'd get any. Just thank you for everything. It means a lot. And I'll see you next Thursday.